Hey everybody, welcome back, Devin the OG, the original Grognard, and we are back looking at something I'm sure some of you have probably thought we had forgotten about, Nations of War Digital on Steam. I know we haven't talked about this a lot much the last few months, there has been a reason for it, uh, and that reason being is that we, have, we, we asked the programmers, Riveted Games, to uh, shift from the old Java-based uh, program and update it to uh, Unity. There were problems with the uh, with the Java uh, programming. It didn't work on a lot of Mac machines. It had some issues with uh, Windows machines as well. I think the I'm not a Mac guy, so I really don't know a lot of this stuff. I think it was the M1 chipset. It just just didn't work with, and like nobody really supports Java anymore. So we asked him to update it to uh, to Unity and. They were kind enough to uh, acquiesce to our requests, and so they went back and, and they spent the last couple of months recording or recording, uh, re reprogramming uh, the entire game into, in, into Unity, as you can see, with updates. 1.1.0b Unity, Unity version out of beta, replacing the old Java versions. Of course, there's a whole bunch of other sub, sub fixes that they did. Worked on the UI, made things a little bit uh, clearer, a little bit more detailed, at least in my opinion. Uh, and we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in and I'll, I'll go through and point these out as we play through. Uh, the, I've worked a little bit on the UI, made some of the buttons a little bit bigger, made things a little bit more uh, uh, just graphically pleasing. I think the Unity version works a little bit smoother and a little bit better. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. And as everybody, well, as you should know, uh, the base game uh, is $4.99, comes with two, two scenarios, All Nuts and Swap Meet. <laughs> um, and then you can buy the, the DLC digital packs that we have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so far, all we have is White Star Rising. So White Star, White Star Rising Pack 1 <coughs> and Pack 2, as can tell by WSR1, WSR2, uh, Desert Heat and Stalin's Triumph are coming. We had them kind of uh, we had the designers uh, developers kind of put a little bit of a hold on working on those two DLCs because we wanted to make sure we got everything up and running on the Unity engine first before they started working on on the rest of the scenario packs. The Unity engine is up and running now. So now they are back to working on the scenario packs and hopefully they should be out soon. So let's go, let's go ahead. Let's jump in ambush with a surprise. And one of the things I love about this is that it shows you the map beforehand. I. I <laughs> I, I don't know how many times, uh, so many games out there, uh, they tell you what the scenario is, but they don't show you the map. Sometimes I just want to, you know, a small mapper, or maybe I want a big mapper, and I don't want to load all the way into the game, decide I don't want to play on that map. Now, at least here we've got the map now. So uh, we'll go with the, uh, we're going to play as the allies, because allies on the attack usually is, is the best way to go. Uh, the AI sometimes doesn't perform real good on the attack, so it's really easy to beat them. So we want a little bit of a challenge. And, the AI provides me with that challenge. So let's jump in, play uh, play a couple three turns, and it just looks like the the it just looks smoother in my opinion with how they put the counters on and how the counters move and everything like that. So let's go ahead and place my troopin. Get stuff there and there. Let's put the headquarters right there. Put infantry right there. Let's put it on the truck side because it's easier to move. And let's put the mortar right there. Let's put the machine gun right there. Attach it to that guy. And then 73rd recon. Let's go with the let's go with the half track side. Try moving up really quick. Uh, put the support weapon there. Put the headquarters there. Uh, let's put the reconnaissance down here. All right. Automatically starts up. 216th gets to go. I'm not going to spend any fate points to return this cup to the chit. So let's just go ahead and continue. Fire missions. Uh, let's skip that. All right. So And I love how we can zoom in. Uh, the zoom scales on this is really cool. I mean, you really pull out to get a good overview where everything is. But then you can zoom right in for a good detailed close-up uh view of what's going on get these guys moving up take all these uh, keep that bridge clear we don't want to get everything stacked up behind that bridge let's take the truck get them up there like that 
And this infantry, they will get on the bridge, which is fine. That does kind of block that bridge. However, the mortar can only move two hexes anyway. So yeah, really that infantry back there is going to be a little bit. Nah, that's fine. Let's go to finish the activation on that. 73rd recon. Let's go down here. Let's take our Greyhounds first because they are going to try to sneak over here. Well, they're not going to sneak real well. But they are going to get shot at by that pack 40 right there. Let's see if they can survive. When do they get opportunity fired at? Yep, there it is. All right, no hits, though. So that's good. Continue on with the movement. and gets in good position there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this half track. We got five movement points. Um, I think right there is good probably going to be out out of the range of the infantry uh in the city the rest of the cafe of Adala right here so i should be relatively safe moving these guys up um <laughs> that pack 40 is going to rain fire down upon me but uh, not much i can do about that at this point and just because i'm ocd we'll have everything in nice nice even line that, that appeals to my... Oh, already! Intern! Okay, so first intern marker. Uh, shoots a battalion 107. Let's see, they got artillery. No artillery they're calling in on the head, thankfully. And, oh, it shoots a battalion's up here. Moving up to form a line of defense around Hubamont. Uh, oh well, there's that's 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 the other that's the other intern marker. So we got two intern markers and only one unit got to activate. Uh, oh no, we I both of mine got to activate. So but it still is the end of the turn. Next turn, Kemp Kupadawa gets to go first. He's probably going to fire at me. Ah, might block line of sight there. Oh, he's moving. Do I want to do an opportunity fire? No, I'm going to skip that. I'll let him move up there. That's fine. And he is going to shoot at me and gets two hits. Of course he does. <laughs> and I got no defense, so I am disrupted and reduced. Not good. Uh, and then 73rd Recon, continue. Oh, okay, so I do manage to rally. So he's reduced, but he at least can still continue on the move. And the, the Pack 40 is already fired. So let's see. Now, one thing I will point out is that I don't recall this in the old Java, or if it was there, it wasn't as as detailed or eye-popping and like i said I, I like the unity engine a lot better but it's showing me who i can shoot at with these red circular things so i'm not going to shoot i want to move so we're just going to go ahead let's see that's three movement points four five now we're just going to stop right there that'll put me in good position next turn Up. okay there and uh, let's see. These guys have got a range, a high explosive range of two. So I can get to right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and perform ops and get just out of their normal range. Now my half tracks can fire. You know what? Let's let's see how many I've spent two moves. Let's enter Overwatch. So if they do move, at least I'll be able to get some shots on them if they come close. And I think I've got longer range than them anyways. Uh, let's have that guy in Overwatch as well. And let's pick this guy. And have him enter Overwatch as well. Oops. All right, so everybody's on Overwatch. So let's see, what's our range? Uh, range of three. One, two, three. So long range, four, five. Yeah, okay, so if they, if they decide to move... I will get to shoot at him. Uh, value of one dice, uh, since it's going to be long range, I'm, it's going to increase my hit to six. But hey, one dice at six, you know, it could happen. Shits of Italian. Uh, they've got no fire missions. Uh, they didn't do anything. There's the first in turn marker, then the 216th. Let's go ahead and move these guys up. Uh, let's skip the artillery fire. Let's get these guys up here. Uh, pick all these guys. Uh, don't think I can. No, 
Oh, didn't think I could make it there. Take these two guys. And they're going to flank through the woods to the south. Keep those guys right there. They'll eventually go into those woods into the south as well. Let's go ahead and take the infantry here. Move him up there to join the buddies up north. Let's go ahead and take this mortar. Right there is fine. And the truck. I think what we're going to do with the truck. Perform operations. And right there. There we go. All right. So we're getting a, getting, getting a good uh, base to set up for my position. If I hopefully will have enough time to be able to have a, have a safe advance up there. Oh, well, there we go. There's the end of the turn. So and we're jumping into turn three. Camp Kufa Let's see what Camp Kufa Dower does real quick. Oh, well, he's shooting at the half track, but he fortunately misses. And what else is he going to do? Ah, that's all he's going to do. All right. So anyways, that is a look at... Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the gameplay on this. Uh, that is a quick look at the new uh, Nations at War digital done with the unity engine like i said if you already own this it has been a free upgrade for you we've upgraded from the java to the unity and you got that for free you didn't have to do anything it should already be updated in your steam account and if you don't have it you should run over to the steam account and pick it up right now like i said the two uh new D four dlcs coming out the two dlcs for uh Stalin's triumph and two dlcs for desert heat are coming soon hopefully soonish Whenever the uh, the designers can get all of them uh, programmed in and working just fine, we will get them up and they will be available for sale. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section below. I'll talk to everybody later. See ya.